Hello, my name is Courtney Morris and I oversee the areas of compensation and benefits for UC San Diego Health. UC San Diego Health's most valuable resource is its employees. The compensation team strives to develop pay and reward programs to attract, motivate, and retain the staff that carry out UC San Diego Health's mission. Compensation and classification is a broad area of human resources covering salary administration, classification of positions, application of overtime rules, market surveys, and other topics connected to employee remuneration. The compensation unit provides consulting services to management on formal and informal job reviews, writing and revising job descriptions, assisting with departmental organizational changes, advising on how classification decisions may impact the department, and assisting departments with the interpretation of classification and compensation policies and procedures. In addition to providing consulting, we also conduct salary and classification studies, respond to and participate in market surveys, research and gather data in preparation for collective bargaining, assist with the design and development of compensation and classification programs, and conduct individual salary equity studies. As a new manager, it's important to understand that within the University of California system, compensation is heavily regulated. The majority of our employees are represented by unions, which means that their compensation is outlined and governed by their respective collective bargaining agreements. For employees that are not represented by a union, compensation actions are governed by UC staff personnel policies. Today, I'm going to briefly go over the three most common compensation-related actions, equities, reclassifications, and stipends. An equity adjustment is an increase in an employee's base salary. Equity adjustments are salary changes outside the normal salary programs and used to remedy salary issues such as external pressures in high demand areas, internal salary compression, or retention considerations. Some examples of when an equity might be appropriate include, first, internal inequity. The salary of a long-term employee is low relative to a new hire in the same title code with similar experience, skills, knowledge, and assignments. Next, market inequity. The market has substantially changed for a role and UC is no longer paying competitively compared to its peers. And last, an equity could also be given for changes in assigned functions or work tasks that increase the scope and complexity of the position but do not elevate the position to a higher classification. The next action I'm going to discuss is a reclassification. Reclassification is a change from one payroll title to another. A reclassification occurs when permanent and substantial changes in job duties occur. Some examples include, among other things, changes in the nature, variety, and difficulty of the work or changes in the supervision exercised or received. Key things to keep in mind with a reclassification. The focus is on the position, not the individual. The position has changed. Changes have generally taken place over time and new positions and promotions generally take place through an open recruitment, not a reclassification. The third action is a stipend. A stipend is a temporary increase in salary. A stipend is a method of compensation used to recognize individuals for temporarily performing responsibilities of a vacant, higher level position or other significant additional duties which are not part of the employee's regular position. Stipends are temporary in nature and generally would not last more than a few months. We understand that compensation within the UC environment can be complicated and confusing. That's why we're here to help. Please visit the HHR website to learn more about the items mentioned in this video, attend one of our specialized trainings, or open a consultation case with any questions you may have. We look forward to working with you.